then skip. Coming to you live. Straight out of real six aquatic kennels. Look at the hump on this guy. My 11 inch, pushing 12 inch, Zadiosum, Shadow, and 14 inch Big Casanova. Pushing probably close to 15 to 16 inches now. I want to share some fish facts with you guys. I've noticed keeping these cichlids divided sometime may put a strain on their eyes. Going back and forth, stretching their face, drawing at the divider, it gives them the bubble eye effect. As you can see, Casanova been going at this divider for years now with his son, Rhino. And now, with this guy, Shadow, which eyes are starting to protrude outwards. And he's starting to show a little bit of bubble eye effect. So I'm definitely gonna take him out of this aquarium and take this divider out so that they won't stress their eyes drawing at it. And to give you a little bit of demonstrable evidence, I wanna show you Sun Rhino, who was once divided in this aquarium where Shadow is. Now, yes, he has the big blue, red trimming eyes, but they're not bubble-eyed anymore. They don't pop out as much like they used to. So I can see that it's a symptom that can be reversed. They're not quite normal yet. They're getting there. But at least the bubble eye effect is retreating. So you may want to be careful when you're dividing your fish for long periods of time. And you may want to watch out for what I call the bubble eye effect. Them stretching and stressing their eye sockets. And with that said, the skip.